Hello again. Hey. Okay, this van has been so questionable lately. Like, extra questionable. And she still has life in her. She still wants to drive. I know it. But for the distances I want to go, the places I want to go, she is less than ideal for me. exhaust. I'm pretty sure it's fallen off. <laughs> this van has kind of had me stressed out lately and had me feeling a bit stuck, like literally and figuratively. I'm on fire, I'm born to run. You looked at me and I was done. We just didn't start. By the way, I don't live in my van. I know if you've been watching for a while, you know that I live in a house. Um, I just use the van for trips. There are some people online that have been trolling me because like van life's not working out for me, whatever, whatever, but like I just don't live in my van. I use it for fun. And uh, so yeah. This past weekend, I went up to my stepdad's cottage and was just enjoying the weekend with family getting out of the heat, staying cool, just swimming and just having a great time, not stressing about anything, this van or the van that I want or like where my life is going. I was just chilling. <laughs> And then I got a message from my brother. So now I have a van. <laughs> um, what? It all happened so fast. This is the first time I'm even seeing the van. My brother's dealt with everything. Like he talked to the guy on Facebook, met up with him because I wasn't around and it's been paid for without even me seeing it. But <laughs> obviously I trust my brother's Don't judgment. So yeah, obviously I trust his judgment. And here it is, what the hell? I own a van now. There's no way, this feels not real. Yeah, look how clean it is. Look how clean the frame is. Yeah, that's like unheard of in Canada. It's immaculate, man. No dents. Pretty much, no. Jeez. It needs a cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> what the Dumb. hell? This is crazy. Is this really happening? This is, we're driving away with this right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's a done It's just deal. so trippy that I, I like didn't see any, I like, I can't. Let's open the door. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a van. It feels not real. Like, I'm, I can't. <laughs> so here we are in my van. So the plan is to actually keep driving this van while I do whatever with that van. And uh, wait, what am I saying? I'm gonna keep driving this van and not rack up the kilometers on the new van. It's got 170,000 kilometers on it, which isn't like exceptionally high, but 
I don't know where I'm going to be going with it. So I have this van and I might as well keep driving it. And I don't know if this is just pointless information for you to know, but I feel like I want to say it because like recently I just tinkered around in here um, to make it a bit better for camping. And I feel like it was for nothing. <laughs> but it wasn't because I, I made window covers for all the windows and I did it with my sister and we had so much fun oh, doing shit. it. It's three seconds. <laughs> We got all the pieces. So no regrets there. I love spending time with my family. So that was cool. And then I fixed the drawer in here as well. I can't open this drawer without pulling out the fridge. That will be better. And I didn't need to do that either. But any sort of construction, carpentry work at all is really good practice for me. So I have no regrets. And I think, I think we should take the van for a drive and go to the beach and hang out and talk more because I feel like there's plenty more things to cover and talk about. Okay. All this van talk you might be wondering about the trailer. What is going on? What am I doing? Where is it? Yeah, I still have it. I was, um, I put it on the back burner like 100% because I'm like, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna use it in Florida this winter and uh, that. So it was like, there's no pressure to finish it, but now I have a van and I feel like I don't need the trailer. So I'm definitely gonna be selling it. And so I have to finish it. And I'm not sure if you're gonna see the process of finishing it because it's so close. It's just little, little things and, and uh, yeah, but it, it will be finished and then yeah, I will sell it. And I'll sell it to anybody. If you want my trailer, let me know. I might be able to deliver it with my brother, depending on where you are, as long as you're on this side of the world, the east side of North America. Yeah, so um, sorry to disappoint if you're like wanting to see van or um, trailer stuff. I don't know. <laughs> You might, or you might not. I hope that clears it up. If you saw my last video, you might be wondering, okay, like what's up with the guy? <laughs> and um, Jordan's great. We are uh, like, where do I even start? How do I address it? I feel like there was a lot of people that were like, I can't believe you went on a date with a stranger, stranger danger. Um, first of all, he wasn't a stranger. And I said that in the beginning, he's met my family. I've met his family. Like we've been talking for quite some time. And um, so yeah, I wouldn't just jump in a van with some random person I met on the internet and then go into the woods. Like I am not a fool. Um, and then some people were like, why is his friend there? That's so weird. Like what the hell? And it wasn't weird because that wasn't our first date. And Dylan lived in the area and wanted to see the Petroglyphs. And then 
it worked out that we can go seating with him. It just like was a perfect scenario and we had so much fun and I'm really glad that it was all of us because it just made it so much more fun. And um, yeah, but my decision ultimately is to never talk about relationships ever again on my channel. I don't think it's necessary until I know for sure that the relationship is going to be like a long-term thing. I don't want to be judged and I don't want the person that I'm sharing to be judged. It's my decision to be on YouTube and yeah. So I think I should just continue sharing myself, what I'm doing, what I love and leave the relationships out of it for now. It's just me and Layla and the fam, okay? But Jordan's a great guy and I'll just leave it at that. I feel like I've covered everything that I can currently think about that I felt like I should cover. But if you're curious about anything else, just comment below and um, I'll try to answer things in future videos. But for now, I think this is it. I just am so glad if you've made it to this point in the video as usual. It just it means so much to me and I love you so much for it. So. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.